been a while since we've seen accumulating snow. In fact, January 18th was the last time this winter Bradley International Airport saw more than an inch of snow. It's been unseasonably warm throughout much of the winter, too. So that begs the question, why haven't these snow piles melted? Well, for starters, this isn't uncommon. Back in 2015, a huge snow pile in Boston, as seen here, didn't melt until mid-July. So let's break this down. Snow is essentially ice with a lot of air space. And in order to melt the ice, you need energy. And the bigger the uh, snow and ice pile get, the more energy you need. So it's not as easy as when temperatures rise above 32 degrees, it melts. And this is why. In order to create a phase change, in this case, convert the ice into water, you need heat that is not determined by a thermometer, rather energy which can be generated with help from the sun or the transfer through contact. And right now, the two points of contact are the ground and the air. And in this case, the size plays a major factor. Many layers of ice in this snow pile have not seen direct sunlight, requiring much more energy to melt it. Meaning, these piles, like the one behind Big Y in West Hartford, will be around for quite some time. In Hartford, Rachel Piscatelli, Fox 61 News.